good morning, friends. It's Johanna with this week's Edwards Public Library Mini Story Time. I hope you guys are feeling great. The weather is awesome, and that put me in the mood for baseball. So that's why I'm representing with my Peak Skill New York shirt. Are you outside doing some catch with some family members during your stay? safe at home time? I hope so. You know, even if you don't have a sibling, you can go out and practice those pop-ups. All right, so let's get started with the baseball song that I bet you know. Ready? Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I never get back because it's root. Root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Isn't that a wonderful song? Gets you in the mood for some baseball, doesn't it? Well, on such a beautiful day, you might be outside planting too. So I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see you. Ah, there you are. And I'm going to share this week's story, which is The Little Red Hen, an old friend of mine. Once upon a time, the little red hen was living in her beautiful barnyard with her buddy, the handsome horse, the downy duck, the drowsy donkey, and the precious pink. They were living there with her, and she was looking for grubs, pecking around. Well, she was pecking around when she found some wonderful wheat seeds. Who will help me plant these seeds? Not I, said the handsome horse. Not I, said the downy duck. Not I, said that drowsy donkey. Oh, did the duck? Not I, said the precious pig. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she pecked around and she put those seeds in the dirt. And then just like a farmer, she watered them and weeded and waited until they grew into beautiful stalks of wheat. Soon it came time to harvest it. Who will help me harvest the wheat? Asked the little red hen. No, I, said that handsome horse. Not I, said the downy duck. No, I, said the drowsy donkey. Ah, uh, not I, said the precious pig. Uh, then I will, said the little red hen. And she took her beak and she ripped at those stalks and brought them down and took her little feet and separated the wheat from the stalks. Uh, who will help me bring the wheat to the mill? Not I, said the handsome horse. Not I, said the downy duck. Not I, said the increasingly drowsy donkey. Oh, not I, said the precious pig. Uh, then I will, said the little red hen. And she brought all of those seeds to the mill. And when the miller saw her, he was so happy, he gave her a jar of his homemade gooseberry jam. And he ground those seeds into flour. She dragged it back home and went into the kitchen. And then she said to her friend, Who will help me turn the flour into bread? Not I, said the handsome horse. Not I, said the downy duck. Not I, said that drowsy donkey. Ah, cook, oh, no way, said the precious pig. Then I will, and the little red hen took that flour and she mixed it with yeast and water and salt and then she kneaded it with her little feet and then she put it into the oven to bake and soon the whole barnyard was full of the wonderful aroma of baking bread and her friends came and they were drooling and they were running around and they wanted some bread. <laughs> Who will help me eat the bread? asked the little red hen. I will, said the handsome horse. I will, said the downy duck. I will, said the suddenly not so drowsy donkey. Oh, mm -hmm. you are my best friend, said that 
Precious Pig. Oh, no, you won't, said the little red hen. You didn't help me plant the seed or harvest the wheat or bring it to the mill or bake the bread. So guess what? I get to eat it all by myself. Maybe next year. B by Biddly I O. She ate that bread with the gooseberry jam. The end. Don't you love how hardworking the little red hen is? And even if those guys had helped her a little bit, I bet she would have given them some bread. Are you helping at home? I have a bread recipe for you if you want to make your own bread. So as you can see, it says water, which you probably have. Yeast, which is hard to come by, but maybe you have some. Sugar, mm, butter. It says pastry flour, but you can use regular flour and some salt. And you can look on the internet and find some wonderful recipes for making your own bread. I bet you'd like it. So this week's story hour, we're going to finish with Simon Says. And do you know how to play that? It's one of my favorite games from when I was a kid. Remember, if Simon says it, you do it. If Simon didn't say it and you do it anyway, eh. All right, let's get started. Simon Says, jump. Simon Says, hop. Fly. I didn't say Simon Says. Did you do it? Let's do another. Simon Says, damn. Simon Says, stomp your feet. Simon Says, skip. Sit down. I didn't say Simon Says. Did you do it anyway? Anyway, you can make some of your own cards at home doing Simon Says. You can stay healthy and active. Like I said, don't forget, you can practice those pop-ups or you can jump rope or you can maybe play some hopscotch while you're safe at home. Okay, my friends, that's the end of this week's Edwards Public Library Story Hour. I'm, please remember to keep in touch. Email us at edwards at cwmars.org. Catch us on East Hampton Public Access Television and check out our YouTube channel. Anyway, stay in touch. Miss you. Stay well. Bye.